Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much. Um, just being able to support the videos, being able to see that these are the missing puzzles going along your journey, to know that you're not the only one suffering through them as well, and knowing that we all can connect and different ways just with you know on the same level but on different situations so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also um if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Maybe just up tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video has been very informative to you or, you know, just gave you some good vibes, without everything and knowing somebody else might need to hear this whether it's the love loved one or a friend or even a fellow in past please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support is greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video so uh today i'm listening to this beautiful meditation is by uh sonic elevator it's called Third Eye Gland Powerful Binary Beats Meditation. Sonic Elevator Third Eye Music 3.5 Hertz. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. It's very pretty. You see this. Let me see if I can show y'all what it what it's like. You, you see that it shows these eyes in the front of it. And it's on the screen and it's really pretty. I'm like, ooh, okay, this is really pretty art. But anyways. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Universe is having you reflect on why your life is where it's currently at at this point. Um, it's, it's really crazy. Y'all, I cannot believe this is like my thousand and tenth video. I did not believe I made throughout the whole year from year to now. Um, I made over a thousand videos. I'm just like, gosh, I don't really edit. So I'm so proud of myself for doing this. And, you know, it really makes me feel blessed that I'm able to help people in these different ways. You know, even though I might be going through something at the time, I'm always trying to push that aside when somebody's going through something. Just for people to be able to listen to, you know, just be able to let their self be heard. But, yeah, the universe just got you really reflecting on your life in, in its current state. And, you know, it, it has you just looking at things and you're trying to figure out where this path might be leading you and it's just like you're having to do this day by day because they they send you little inklings between your dreams and your you know your daily routines on you know you might daydream a lot I know with me being an empath I daydream a lot you know because I'll be catching myself my daughter be trying to talk to me I'm like huh and I'm like not trying to say I'm not paying attention to you, but I was just deep in thought. But it's just like you can be dealing with so much BS throughout the day. You know, you're going through things, got a question in your sanity, it has a questioning, are you on the right path? Why is everything the way it's happening? You know, why is it happening the way it's happening? You know, why are these things happening to me? You know, so many different things the universe is having you reflect on. It's like before, you know, when we were dealing with the spring equinox and super moon and all that junk, that's where it just kicked off at. You probably had it like two or three days before then, but it's like that since then your whole world has been shaken up. And it has you just really reflecting on things like, okay, am I done reflecting now? <laughs> but no, it was like hell no. We still got you we still got you reflecting on a couple more other things. So keep on going. Keep on proceed. Uh, it has you really going through some stuff. So I know y'all know you need to drop me a line and let me know y'all going through this. Cause I hate to be finding out I'm going through this by myself and I know I'm not. But you know, it's just going through stuff like that and it has you really, really thinking about all these different things and you know, going through all this stuff and knowing like, the, you know, friends might be snatched out of your life. You're probably seeing people for their, what they're truly, you know, tough times expose, expose true feelings about people. You, you got to understand that. So it's just like, you know, I know I had people coming up to me and telling me, Rosalind, you know, I'm not friends with such and such anymore. And, you know, things, you know, 
have changed so much so drastically and you know it really hurts number one you should never be hurt you know even though it does it is a jacked up situation to be in a situation with people especially if you've been friends with them for so long and all of a sudden they become strangers to you it's just the universe is shedding that spotlight on people that does not need to be in your life you know because it's like when i've seen people that i've known for like 20 30 years you know i'll probably still talk to like one or two of my my friends that i went to high school with and i'll be laughing at them i'll say oh girl you know this and this and that like i've had people unfriend me because they used to look down at me and all of a sudden when they find out you know through the grapevine who i'm related to and all of a sudden you want to be friends again i'm like no uh -uh, you remember you didn't want to be friends with me and it's gonna stay that way because i blocked your ass out of my life so i wanted to be that way and it's a messed up feeling to do that because it's like when i've always used to hear about people that had this found fame or whatever and it's not like i'm comparing that but now i see what they have went through you know and they say you know that it's just like the interviewers are asking what was the worst situation you had to go through when you're you know like people are just starting there uh they got their fame going through you know a celebrity starting music or whatever and they say the worst thing is about seeing people's true faces and it's messed up because you would think some people are being happy for you but there there are some out there that are happy for me but then when they finally figure out you know all the things that i'm doing and plus the fact is who my father is on top of me doing what i'm doing they really cannot stand me and i'm just like dang you know you you can get blessings too whatever you want to go for you can go for it you just have to be able to work hard and it ain't gonna be handed to you because my stuff ain't handed to me you know there are some people that want to be in my spot but if you had to figure out the things i had to do to get to where i'm at you'll be staying right where you're at because it's like it's not a simple thing to go through and it's just like when i see all the ups and downs the hard time i have and you know even though i push out so much positivity i get shit thrown at me like why do i have to go through stuff like that you know i feel like i've been pushing out so much positivity i should have a better life than what i have but then it's just like you're not truly getting the gist of the things that you have been going through the measures you're gonna have to take and you have to understand when everything is all said and done you're gonna be looking back at it and be like you know i understand why i had to go through this I understand why things were put in my place for me to have to go through so much hell for me to go through this because it's testing my strength it's testing testing my patience it's test it's testing my faith it's making me see things for what they truly are. It's giving me wisdom in places I felt like I was stupid at. You know, ignorant to, you know, certain things. And it's not the fact that you're stupid. It's just that when you're uneducated in certain things that you really need to speed up on, it will have you put in certain places to where you're going to be looking up things that seeing why it is the way you are. Because it's just, especially with you being a Hayoka, we investigate the hell out of stuff. We're like Columbo. <laughs> we are straight up like Colombo, Magnum P.I., you know, Law, Order, SVU, NCIS. You are going to check out every single thing, and it's going to have you upgrading on so much knowledge in you. So when everything is o over, it's like nobody ain't going to be able to tell you nothing. It's at the end of the day, nothing was handed to you. You worked your butt off to get where you are. It's like dreams that you felt like you didn't have the, the courage to get to. I have you stepping out your comfort zone. Have you do things that scared the hell out of you to do. Not worrying about what people thought of you. What kind of feedback you were getting. Because, you know, if you're on the real deal, Holyfield, the, the real is going to recognize real when fake walks in the room. That's why it's just like I don't worry about what people think of me. I don't care about how I rub people the wrong way because it's like I'm speaking my truth. You know, I'm not trying to go out there and hurt nobody. But if you push me into a corner, I straight, I, mm, <laughs> my words cut like a knife. I just don't have time for it. You know, because it's just like when you, when, when you know you're about the real deal and you know you're not going to accept nothing better than what you truly deserve. You're just not going to take the, the okie dokie. You, you put your standards really high. That's what you're supposed to do. And I, you know, people have mistakes all the time, but it's just like, you can't keep doing that with me. You know, I used to let people slide and, you know, didn't care as long as I had people in my corner, even though they weren't really in my corner. Now I'm just like, Psh. you know, I don't even care no more. Whatever it is, what it is, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm not going to allow nobody to step on my feet for me to get where I got to get. I'm not stepping on nobody's toes to get where I have to get because I'm being honest about my stuff. I'm not hurting nobody except, you know, people that don't want to hear that truth. Uh, I'm doing what I need to do because the awareness needs to be put out there. So I know 
why the universe is putting me in a lot of things. And I mean, sometimes I be going to hell off on the universe. Like, really? I really got to go through this? You know, even though you're, you're magnifying certain things, the universe can't see how it's going to reflect you. It's either going to be positive or negative. But whatever you are manifesting, it comes towards you. Whether it's good or it's bad, but you know you're on the right path. When things that you want in your life, you start seeing it around you. And there's times I'm like, why do I got to constantly keep seeing this stuff around me? It's not like I'm wishing these people don't have it, you know, but why do I got to keep constantly seeing things around me like this? Because this is something that I'm manifesting. Even though I might not have it yet, I congratulate people because I know if I congratulate somebody, I'm not going to repel my blessings from me. I can't hate on the next person that got something before I did. You know, that don't mean that you're not next in line to get anything. So it's just like universe has you looking at things in a whole different way. It's like they done shook your whole life up and now you're putting, it's like Zynga. You know how you, you, you know the game Zynga, you putting it all together and you know, you have to put them in the exact spot they're supposed to be. You got to be very tedious with it and very... You know, you, you got to be able to analyze different things to know where you're going to place one thing after another. And that's what our life is. You have to be very careful about the things you put into your life, things you, you put in your mind, the way you're projecting things, the way you're responding to them. You have to be very cautious about stuff like that. So it's just like the universe will have you reflecting on things that you never thought. You're like, oh. You have that aha moment. Oh, this is the reason why I had to go through that. Because there's so many things that's being dealt to you. And it might be some hurtful stuff. But when it, when you, like I told y'all, when you step back and look at the different perspective of the things that's being dealt to you, you have to understand why things were snatched away from you and added on at that time. Because it's testing your strength. It's testing your faith. It's testing your knowledge. It's testing your patience. Testing your wisdom. You know, when people are coming at you and they might have a hidden agenda for you and not having, you know, it's a blessing when you have people come in your life that don't have motives. But then there's people that are coming into your life that do have hidden motives to come in there and jack it all up. I don't have people like that. You don't cuss them out. Many of the time I want to peel their scalp back. But then I'm just like, don't do that. Because see, you got tested and you seen what the heck they had going on. Even though sometimes with us being hey because we go for the underdog. Like there's people I'd be wanting to share my, you know, my, my my youtube channel about because they're empaths too and they might not ha have good intentions for me and it's just the way i'm going out there and even though the universe is like don't mess with them don't mess with them and i feel it i still go about it anyway i said well you know this person is in is in lost and is trying to find other people that are going through that and then when i do that next thing you know they come at me a different way i'm like you know what bump it <laughs> leave it alone whatever you do you i'm gonna do me so, I hope you were able to, you know, uh, resonate with the content of this video. Drop a line and let me know that you, if you're currently going through this, and I know there's some empaths going through this, drop me a line and tell me your feedback on this situation. Are you going through things that have you looking at your situation in a totally different way? You know, you know you're truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for you better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Um... And give my post notification shout out to Chef Disaster, Mimi B. Um, let me see who else. Starseed Warrior. I think Starseed Warrior 22. Much love to you. Many blessings. You know, drop me a line. Like and subscribe. Share the video. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.